Hey guys, I said I'd be back. I'm back. Okay. The long awaited for and highly debated wireless mouse. Before I went over to a wired mouse, well, I started out many moons ago with a wired mouse, but my cousin turned me on to a Logitech mouse that I used for years, and it was a wireless wasn't a game and mouse it was kind of like an in-between type thing but it definitely wasn't a game and mouse but it could be used for it so since then i've been using multiple wired mouse mice mices and i like them but there's always been you know the problem with having the, the cord dragging pulling i mean some people say all oh, the, the the cord could shave off a millisecond but that's not the reason I got it it's just convenience and I've really been wanting to try this Logitech wireless G502 light speed it's all um, Wi-Fi there's no there's no Bluetooth on it obviously it doesn't say anyways and I figured I'd do a quick unboxing with it. I already did something in the last video where I unboxed a whole bunch of stuff and I've got like, oh my God, I got a bunch more stuff coming in. But here it is. So I'm gonna focus in on this a little better so you can get a better look at it and we can talk a little bit about it. And then I'll come back at the very end after it's hooked up and tell you what I think because they're saying it's less than a millisecond, almost zero latency versus that razor mouse that I have that's pretty much close to zero latency. Okay, so here we are, we're back with the Logitech G502 wireless light speed gaming mouse. I don't know, that's a whole mouthful. And you're probably all looking over here saying, oh my God, look at this dude. He's got a keyboard that's like 100 years old. But this is a Steel Series Merc Stealth. I bought this years ago. I have gone, I've got, good Lord, I've got Asus, I've got Logitech, I have all, and I just keep going back to this bloody thing. I cannot get it. I love the way the hand falls in it. And some people say mechanical's better. It's all preference when it comes to that. It is absolute preference. If you like mechanical, fine. If you like membrane, fine. It's not gonna make a huge, 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 huge difference. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, it's really not a huge difference. The thing about this, and I know I'm getting off course a little bit, but it's, it, everything's right here. I have a hard time using the Q, W, E, S, D, Z, D, the whole alphabet thing. This right here, it's laid right out. Every weapon, jump, crouch, walk, run, it, it, it's just there. The mouse, I, mean, well, I haven't even done a peel on it, so let's do a peel for us. Nothing, nothing to write home about. I haven't even plugged in the dongle dingle dong. I haven't plugged in the dongle dingle dong. Okay, so we've got... Oh, we, we, we have all of the stuff off. Oh, it has a uh, an on-off switch. It is rechargeable from what the looks of it by mini USB, uh, micro USB, whatever, whatever they call it. You know, it's, it's, not the, it's not the C. I wish it would have been USB-C, but it's not. Um, eventually, everything's gonna go over to C, universal. It has some, some light RGB lighting on it. Not a ton, but it has some. And under here, we have some, uh, some directions, which really, I think anybody can figure it out without even opening it up and reading about it. It gives you a little, uh, it gives you a little layout of, of what the, um, you know, the DPI switch is, which one does what pretty comprehensive layout explaining um, I'm pretty sure it's an 11 yes 11 I think it's 11 button and the rest is just you plug in 
the dongle and you get yourself charged up, which it's probably charged. Oh, yeah, here we go. We can't, we can't go anywhere without, anywhere without a sticker. We've we got to have a sticker there. I don't know where I'm going to put it. Put it on the bumper of my car, maybe. I don't know. It looks like it probably has around, I want to guess, I'm going to say five feet. Absolutely about five feet. Five feet, maybe six, I think more like five. And I'm going to plug it right in here. It's, U, it's, it's USB for child. So I'm going to plug this baby in. I have been wanting to get a wireless mouse for like ever. And I know, like I said, the, 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 the long, okay, here we go. The huge debate on wireless versus wired. I, like I said, I think it's preference. It looks like she's got a pretty good charge already in it. I think that probably is RGB. I'm not sure. This right here is probably if you want to set up a profile like with the, my my razor has a a little switch on the side. You can make two different profiles. And then we're on to this gizmo inside of here. What you have are some weights. This kind of freaked me out because. <laughs> I pulled it out and I was looking, I'm like, wow, that's a big dongle, you know? But then, all that to hold just this little tiny, little tiny critter. And then it comes with some different little weights that you can put in. And to be honest with you, it feels pretty good. Seems to have some nice touch to it. Hmm, okay. So basically we have, let me see, this says four grams on it. It sets right in there, I kind of missed it there. But I'll play with that later. These are two grams, these little ones. And I'm taking it, I see, I see, I see. Bingo. Looks like a little hideaway where you can put your your little dongle, did it, did it, did it, did it dongle. It has a little skid pad right there, a skid pad right here, a skid pad around the back, and a bigger skid pad up front. So it's pretty all much. It even has one going around the um, the little laser. Okay, that's nice. The texture on it is the side is a rubber texture. It has a nice. A nice landing for, for a thumb rest. I think you can buy, if I'm not mistaken, is it this one or is it another one? I thought there was an adapter you could put on the side so you could have a pinky and a thumb rest, which you really don't need. The wheel feels nice. The difference between like the Razor and this, the Razor has an adjustable wheel on the bottom where you can Hit a clicks where you can get it clicky, very clicky, or you can you can you know slowly loosen it up so the wheel is just free. You can just spin it and it goes right through everything. I'm trying to keep this video short, short as I can, and I'll get back with the um, after I use this a little bit with just a little comment on what I think about it. Okay, folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a like. Even better, subscribe, thumbs up, whatever it may be. Believe me, it's, it, it really does help the channel. And it, it's nice to see that. Even, even after the other day, I had some guy, like, on my second video I ever made. My second video I ever made, this dude actually went all the way back over a year. And he came on and he, he told me, he's like, dude, you're the reason why people don't watch videos because that was, like, amateurish. And I was like... Hey, guy, it was my second one that I've ever done. I mean, you know, cut me some slack. I said, I'll go check out your channel. I went over there. We had, like, three videos. They were all identical, playing some unknown music where about 20 seconds long of him riding down a bicycle path, and I think he hit a tree. I don't know, something like that. But that was the extent of his professionalism. Anyways, 
yeah, stuff that we just got to deal with. So, you know, when you, when you get a like or you, you get a sub, it, it's really nice that, you know, you can tell your people are enjoying your content and the time that you take to put into it. So I'm going to let this charge a little bit. I'm pulling that mouse off. I'm going to put this on. My buddy I can see is online. I appreciate you all coming. I hope you got a little something out of this. I don't know if it's worth going over to it yet. If it's any skips, any drags, any latency problems, but we will know and I'll give you my honest opinion on it when I'm finished. So thanks for being here. Stay strong.